Okay, uh, Ty, joined here uh, at the end of day one of qualifying. It's been a bit of a mixed day for you so far. Can you summarize it for us? Um, it hasn't been the ideal day, uh, but we're still figuring stuff out. Uh, we're getting closer and closer on our setup on our car. Uh, it's just been kind of crappy how they've had to start the round, it's just so wet. Um, but tomorrow it shouldn't be that bad because we kind of start towards the end of the round. Uh, we won't be starting off a break, so I think it'll be better. Um, track will be more consistent, I think, and it'll be rougher, so it's, it should be good tomorrow. Yeah, this morning you guys kind of started out as kind of track sweepers, so to speak. And then obviously round two, there's quite a bit of evidence that the track was fairly wet, so to speak. But hopefully you're, you're looking that it looks better for tomorrow. Yeah, I think it'll be straightened out somewhat. Um, they'll be more consistent, I think, because we'll go straight from race 18 to ours instead of a big break. So hope, hopefully it's better and hopefully it's a new day tomorrow. Joseph, unlucky or lucky 13th in round two? Super lucky 13th. I mean, I must be the only guy to improve. The track was maybe 10 seconds slower. I crashed twice, had traffic, and went two seconds faster than my first run. And my first run, I didn't even make a mistake. I just drove very conservative and too slow. These guys were saying I was driving like a girl. Then I remembered Jessica Paulson, so you, I, you can't use that anymore. And also Marlin Carlson, so I don't know what I was driving like, but I was driving too slow. I got really mad at myself for the second round, drove aggressive, and it worked. Crazy. I don't know. I can't explain it. Um, very good. Congratulations. Uh, we're, in the, we're in the desert, typically quite dry, but a few drivers have uh, been talking about a little bit too much uh, water on the track. I don't know if Hoover Dam burst, but have you got any thoughts on that? Well, I mean, I'm not surprised at all because this is the whole problem when you water tracks at races like this. You can't make it fair for every, everyone. I think what's going to happen is that it's going to... After, after three days of qualifying, everyone's going to have a fair chance at the end of the day. But... There will be cases like today where Heat 1 kind of got screwed. They were the first race out in the morning, they had a wet track and then it just kept on getting drier. And then after the break, for some reason, they really drenched the track. So again, they had a wet track, which then kept on drying. So, But tomorrow they'll be running very late in the day. So I think it will be better for them, but I don't know. Watering a track is not a good idea for a championship event like this. I said it before and I, I'll maintain that. Okay, joined here by Ryan Lutz. Ryan, you are fifth for round two. Uh, how's qualifying been overall for today? I uh, got better as the round went on. As the track gets rougher, I feel it plays more into my wheelhouse. Uh, when it's kind of in that transition phase from smooth to rough, I feel like I struggle a little bit. It's kind of who can plow through the bumps the best, and I don't know, my lines just seem to get upset through that kind of rough. But when it gets really rough, I adjust my lines and feel like I can do well. We saw you racing a little bit with Ty in that second round, and uh, a few dri other drivers have been talking about the watering issue in Heat 1, but that doesn't seem to have affected you maybe as much. Heat 1, I think maybe we were a little slower, but my setup wasn't quite right either. Uh, heat 2, I think our track looked the wettest, but it seemed throughout the whole run, even as the track dried out, the lap times were pretty similar, at least for me, so maybe my tires just worked good for that whole run. And you, you're looking very good for, you know, looking forward towards Saturday and everything. I mean, what are your hopes and expectations there? I definitely want to make the semis and then put a good run in the semis. I've done it the last two years, finished really well in the semis. So track keeps getting rough. I feel like it's going to be good for me. Cool. We will check back with you then. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, joined here by Ben Panic at the end of uh, round two of qualifying. As you can see, the lights are on. It's uh, got a little bit dark. Ben, how's qualifying been today for you? Well, for the team, it's been great. Elliot smashed it out of the ballpark. He's just a beast. So uh, a couple, by, of, guys. a couple Stand of TQs by. has been great for me. Uh, first round made a change in the carburetor that didn't work, so that was a throwaway. And now, as you can see, the natural light's gone. The lights have come on, and variability. You know, the tracks change. There's so much water on it. It was a good run. A couple of mistakes, but um, really, it's just another practice run given the conditions. You're really struggling with, I guess, the track is so different compared to what it was when you were running in daylight, sort of, what, six hours ago or something, yeah, or more than that. Out, yeah, look, I think there's a lot to be answered for. Oh, they right, need to have some sort of hard loose, stuff guys, off at Here five o'clock when the sun Race goes down. Uh, it's just, it's not fair for the guys that are out there now. It's dark, it's cold. They're still watering the track, so there's no consistency to any of it. And, you know, we have to look at all the drivers, not just the top 30 or top 50. I mean, all the 234 drivers deserve equal conditions, and I believe that actually is in the rules as well. Yeah, and I think that's what needs to be questioned and looked at. I mean, I know they're trying to get the rounds in today, but it's just so different. You know, it's probably 30 degrees cooler. 
The track's holding water a lot longer than it was. They're also watering it a lot more for some races compared to others. And the guys have done a great job. Like, the track crew have done an awesome job. But there's not the consistency in terms of water going down on the track that there needs to be. Otherwise, enjoying Vegas? Yeah, Vegas is great. Like, everything here is good. Uh, today was just a tough day. We'll put that one away and uh, move on to tomorrow. And hopefully... They can start earlier, you know. Why not start at 7.30 in the morning? Let's get everyone out of bed. We're not here on holiday. You know, we're here to race.